What's going on, everybody? LeBron James and the Cavs have done it. They're NBA champions. I did not see this happening. I thought that it was Golden State all the way. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. Um, you guys have seen the way I've transitioned through it all. And um, like I said, man, this is huge for the city of Cleveland, bro. For LeBron James to be the biggest GOAT for having to leave to go to Miami to get a championship, to come back like this and to win against the Golden State Warriors in a fashion that has never been done before. To be one of the three people to have a triple-double in a game seven, bro. Like, this dude has, uh, yo, wow. Wow is all I have to say. Um, you know, it's not even really much to talk about with the game. It was one of the most exciting game sevens I've ever seen in my life since the tip-off, going through the whole thing, man. It's gonna be a lot of uh, Steph Curry memes, gonna be a lot of talk about Draymond Green suspension, a lot of things about Aisha Curry's comments, um, various statements, but you guys gotta go back to previous series with the OKC Thunder, cause it's the same thing. Whichever way you wanna do it, bro, you can't tell LeBron James nothing. A Cleveland boy who comes back to the city and gives his freaking city a championship. Are you just a young boy from Akron, Ohio? Are you? This is this is such a fairy tale ending. It doesn't matter what LeBron does. It doesn't matter what LeBron does from this point on. You guys can't say nothing to him. Regardless, he got called a bitch. You know, by Draymond, he got Draymond suspended by going too hard. Whatever you want to say, he went out there on a freaking Golden State Warriors team that it's so difficult to beat them at home. And to win this game with his team, the way it was, being down 3-1, coming back, first team in NBA history to ever do that, everything, the hardest road possible to win it all. You can't say nothing to this man at all. And I, like I said, I call it how I see it. I'm gonna be still talking shit about LeBron when he's effing up or whatever like that. It doesn't really matter though. At the end of the day, I've always given him credit for being such a great player. And the thing that was a turning point for me is how angry he got when he was blocking Steph Curry. He was talking shit back. It was the angry LeBron James. I don't know what is left to be expected. This was an unbelievable Father's Day. This game was just so amazing overall. It's going to be a lot of critique about the NBA being fixed, rigged, etc., etc. Congratulations to both teams. And I want to, I want to congratulate Draymond Green for his sportsmanship, bro. After all the shit that happened, for him to go up to LeBron James and to hug him at, hug him at the end of the game, that took a lot. Because I've seen a lot of guys walk away like bitches. You know, like when he called LeBron to be suspended, whatever the F, he kicked him in the nuts, whatever, punched him in the dick, whatever it was. Um, I've seen a lot of guys walk away and not be able to do that. Draymond Green deserves a lot of credit for doing that. That, that was huge. You know, Steph Curry talking to Kylie, uh, Kyrie Irving after he got a three drained in his mouth at the end of the game in the critical moments. That's ridiculous sportsmanship. And then now with Klay Thompson running his mouth about being able to beat the Lakers and all that shit like that, you couldn't even close out a team that you, you had up 3-1. So you need to shut your ass up. That's why you wait until you perform. Everybody is not Muhammad Ali. They can't predict they're gonna win. And that's why Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time. And Klay Thompson, you're not. And that's not to throw shade on him, but sometimes you gotta shut up. You gotta finish it out and then talk shit. Stop talking about history and beating these great NBA Laker teams. That's disrespectful because those teams are really, really great and it's no way for us to be able to see that happen again. And he should have waited before you disrespect the old, the old school guys that made it possible for you guys to get paid, all the stuff you're getting paid, and that's the way you run your mouth and the series is not even over. In my opinion, they deserve to lose because of that statement. You guys can hate, you can say whatever, but you gotta respect history to get where you're going. Congratulations to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well-deserved. Until next time, one love.